Hi friends, welcome to my channel Galaxy of Stars. Before begin, let me tell you, that this video is only for those who have, little knowledge in Photoshop, or use Photoshop to edit photos. If you are new, please subscribe this channel. Also, enable notification bell. If you do so, you will get notified every time when I upload any video. Today, I will discuss everything about lids. What are their types? And how we can create our own lids for specific videos and images. LIT stands for lookup table and it is mostly used for color grading video footage and post processing images. Applying the right lids and making correct adjustments is the art and vital part of filmmaking and photography process. So, it is very important to follow a few simple rules when it comes to color grading in order to make sure it enhances your footage. Lookup table, or simply LIT is a table used to map one color space to another. For example, a LUT can remap a log image into Rec.709 space, or it can be used to apply a preset look for any given image or footage. LUTs are commonly used to calculate preview colors for a monitor or digital projector of how an image will be reproduced on another display device. However, LUTs may be used as a starting point for color grading. It is useful to think of LITs using the following equation. Result equals source material plus LUT. LUT, in this case, represents the difference needed to make up between the result and the source material. Source material can be your image or video. In simple words, LUT is a file type that contains various color information like levels adjustment, contrast, brightness, color saturation etc. Different LUTs gives you different results or applied colors. A LUT is a look which you can apply to your image or footage in order to correct it or give it a distinctive, creative starting point for your final color grade. It will be more clear when you know how to create it, keep watching till the end. Basically, there are two types of LUTs we can use in color grading process. One. 1D LUTs. These LUTs may be useful for setting contrast, the white point of a display, or overall color balance adjustments but, they do little to convey the complexities needed for creating a good looking image when grading. 2. 3D LUTs. These LUTs overcome the limitations of 1D LUTs by placing color and luma in a 3D space, a much more representative way of how color works in real world. 3D LITs are much more useful for capturing and relaying complex color grades than to a 1D LITs. We can save a LIT file in different formats. There are mainly four color profiles or LIT formats. 3DL, Cube, CSP, ICC Profile. From above, you might be thinking what these different formats do. Well, it serves the same purpose of color correcting or more precisely color grading. More commonly we use 3LD and Cube files for color grading in Photoshop and Premiere Pro. It is just a file format for different applications. Adobe Photoshop supports all of them. See some images without and with color that's applied. The following images are taken from lutify.me website for the tutorial purpose. If you are really interested and wanted to know more about color grading and how to improve existing video and photo by applying different LUTs, to get the best results, you need to understand everything in more detail. Go to lutify.me, where you will find everything about color grading in a very detailed manner. Lutify.me is a great website to learn in-depth color grading, color adjustments and film emulation. Now, let's see some of the application that allows us to use, and try, different types of LUTs, for our photo and video editing. Adobe Photoshop Adobe Lightroom Adobe Premiere Pro Adobe After Effects FX Filmora Cyberlink Power Director Final Cut Pro X DaVinci Resolve now, let's learn to create our own color lookup table. There are many ways, you can create your own LUTs. 
you can create online or with the help of apps. I am more familiar with Photoshop and Premiere Pro, and LUT can be created with the help of both. The best way to create LUT is in Adobe Photoshop. We are inside Adobe Photoshop, so, let's begin. Here, we create our own LUT. I will not go through every details of editing process. Here, I consider, you have basic knowledge of Photoshop, go, to file, open. I open two images taken under similar environment. The lighting condition, of both the images are similar. I will, create LUT, on the first image, and, apply it on the other image. I will, also apply, the same LUT, on a video footage and see the result. I try to do, some basic correction, by creating some adjustment layers over the background image. Remember, different image required different LUT. And thus, the LUT, I will create based on this image may not be applicable on other images or videos. So, I have chosen two similar images. Anyway, go to levels adjustment, and do the necessary correction. Add some vibrance and saturation. This looks better. Then go to curves, and do some basic adjustments. Here, I make little adjustments separately for each color. Red, green, and blue. Just follow along the video. I think. I am done. I will put all these three adjustment layers into a folder, which is not necessary. After finishing all the adjustments, it is the time to create LUT. From these adjustment layers, now, go to File, Export, Color Lookup Table. You get four different formats as already discussed. Now, set Quality, Medium, and, Grid Points, 32. Don't increase the quality to maximum. If you don't have super fast computer, higher and maximum quality required a lot of processing power and time to export and import, so avoid it. Now, save the LUT file. Let's close the first image, and, apply it on the other image. We already have opened, go to, image, adjustments, lookups, you also find it here. Load the LUT. And here you go, even after applying LUT, you can always edit your images. Now, you know, how to create LUT, and how to import and apply it. These are my LUT, in different format. Now let's apply it on a video footage inside Premiere Pro. I am now inside Premiere Pro, see how it is done. First, import the footage. Inside Lumetri Color, you'll find input LUTs. Browse and apply it. It is very easy and interesting. Again, remember, no one LUT file is applicable for all types of clips. Adjustments and color grading to individual photo and video is always required. There are many LUT available online, some are free and some you need to buy. I think now you know everything about LUT. Hope this video is useful and you like it. Thank you for watching. If you have any question regarding LUTs, please ask me in the comment. Please, like and share my videos. If you are a new guest, please consider subscribing this channel. Happy editing. See you in my next video. Have a great day.